Hi, I'm Nancy Morrow, and I'm going to be talking about digestive enzymes and disorders associated with enzyme deficiency. We all know that feeling when our digestive system just doesn't seem to be working properly. We get bloated, we have stomach pains or excess gas. It's uncomfortable and it makes us think we either ate something bad or we may be intolerant to something we ate. Our gut has many digestive enzymes that work to degrade fats, proteins, and carbohydrates in addition to helping to absorb micronutrients. If we have all the enzymes we need and there are no present enzyme deficiencies, our digestive system can run smoothly. On the other hand, if we do have deficiencies in some enzymes, this could be the root of uncomfortable gastrointestinal disorders and poor nutrition as well. Today we will discuss how enzymes play a role in normal digestive processes, what conditions might result in enzyme deficiencies, and how digestive enzyme supplementation may be an effective solution for those suffering with GI disorders. Digestive enzymes help break down our food into bioavailable nutrients so that we can get optimal absorption and nutritional benefit from those nutrients. There are different enzymes for the specific digestion of each macronutrient. For example, carbohydrates are digested by enzymes like alpha amylase. Proteins are broken down by enzymes like pepsin, trypsin, and chymotrypsin. And fats are broken down by lipase. Additional examples include the secretion of lactase by the small intestinal brush border cells, and a variety of enzymes that digest other disaccharides and more complex carbohydrates. In order to get the most bang for our buck, when it comes to obtaining nutrients, we must have both an adequate supply of nutrients and relevant functional enzymes for digestion. When we do have this fully functioning array of enzymes, whole foods can be broken down, releasing individual nutrients and phytonutrients from the food matrix. Only when released from the food matrix by enzymatic digestion are these nutrients available for absorption. In addition, whole raw foods contain their own living enzymes, which can assist our bodies in digestion. The broad category of adverse food reactions, including food intolerance and food allergies, may affect up to 20% of the general population. And enzyme deficiencies can be responsible for some of these. While enzyme deficiencies may result from a nutrient-poor diet to some extent, it is also important to point out that some of us simply lack certain enzymes. For example, you may know someone who's lactose intolerant. This person lacks adequate levels of the enzyme lactase that breaks down the sugar lactose found in milk. Or you may know someone with celiac disease. This is an autoimmune condition, but it can result in enzyme deficiencies due to damaged intestinal cells. There are two categories of enzyme deficiencies related to digestive conditions. Adverse food reactions, which may be caused by conditions such as gluten intolerance, lactose intolerance, and complex carbohydrate intolerance, and pancreatic insufficiency. This can occur in cases of pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, or cystic fibrosis. Pancreatic insufficiencies are major players in many enzyme deficiencies and digestive disorders. This is due to the fact that the pancreas works to produce many of the enzymes needed for digestion activity in the small intestine. As mentioned before, there are specific enzymes for the digestion of each macronutrient. So let's dive deeper into these specific deficiencies and how they affect our bodies differently. Carbohydrate intolerance can present itself in many ways due to carbohydrate enzyme deficiencies. One may experience an intolerance to the sugar lactose, while others may not be able to digest complex carbohydrates, which may be a result of multiple enzyme deficiencies. When appropriate enzymes are missing, these carbohydrates remain undigested and unabsorbed, which can drive fluid into the intestines and may contribute to diarrhea. Some unabsorbed carbohydrates are broken down by bacteria in the colon. This leads to gas, abdominal pain, bloating, and flatulence, often symptoms of those with a lactose intolerance. The highest rates of lactose intolerance are reported in Asia and Africa, up to 90 to 100% of the population. And in the U.S. population, estimates range broadly from 15 to 80 percent. In addition to not having the enzymes needed for digestion, a carbohydrate intolerance may result from the overconsumption of carbohydrates. The standard American diet revolves around low-nutrient carbohydrates, and when we consume too many, our digestive system is overwhelmed and not able to digest them all properly. 
Overconsumption of low-nutrient processed carbohydrates also contributes to spikes in insulin secretion, increased adipose tissue, and the deposition of fat in the liver. The adverse effects of this can lead to obesity, poor nutritional status, heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic illnesses. Protein digestion can be hindered by protein enzyme deficiencies or interference with enzyme function. Pepsin is the enzyme that is primarily at play when digesting proteins. It breaks proteins down into amino acids for absorption in the small intestine. Pepsin works best in the stomach where the pH is low and acidic, so it can be activated into its precursor gastric juice to active pepsin. If stomach pH is increased, meaning decreased stomach acid, protein digestion can be inhibited. Enzyme deficiencies associated with the digestion of fats, also known as lipids, are tied to a lack of the enzyme lipase. This is often associated with pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. And as I mentioned before, the pancreas plays a major role in secreting the enzymes needed for efficient digestion. Pancreatic insufficiency may arise during certain disease states, such as chronic pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, cystic fibrosis, pancreatic surgery, and diabetes, and may affect the secretion of pancreatic enzymes, including lipase, to degrade fats. A lack of pancreatic lipase may result in undigested fat particles in stool and reduced lipid absorption. Symptoms of pancreatic enzyme insufficiency include abdominal pain, fatty stools, weight loss, and eventually malnutrition. Studies have shown reduced secretion of pepsin and pancreatic enzymes with age. Pancreatic enzyme insufficiency has been demonstrated more in older adults than in younger adults, especially for the elderly in hospitals or in rehabilitation settings and an age-related decrease in digestive enzymes could lead to reduced availability and absorption of food-bound vitamins, such as B12, and fat-soluble vitamins, like vitamins A, D, E, and K. In addition to pancreatic enzymes, bile acids also play a role in digestion. Bile is stored in the gallbladder between meals, and when food is ingested, it is released and helps the digestion of fat and phospholipids. Bile acids are also required for the activation of some pancreatic enzymes, and they contribute to the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins and fatty acids, and even the excretion of cholesterol. So how do we address these possible deficiencies? Digestive enzymes can be found in supplements and can help replace the enzymes that one is lacking, helping to achieve optimal absorption and digestion of nutrients. Carbohydrate digestion can be improved with supplements containing amylase. Supplementing this digestive enzyme can support carbohydrate digestion and carbohydrate management by breaking down long-chain carbohydrates into smaller saccharides. In addition, supplemental lactase, also known as beta-galactosidase, can help improve the symptoms associated with digestion of lactose for those who are lactose intolerant. Another form, alpha-galactosidase, is the enzyme that degrades oligosaccharides commonly found in beans and vegetables, and has been shown to improve the symptoms of IBS as well. Protein digestion can be aided with supplements containing pepsin and pancreatin as well. Pancreatin contains a variety of different enzymes, including lipase for fat digestion, amylase for carbohydrate digestion, and proteases for protein digestion. As mentioned before, pepsin works optimally in acidic conditions. Betaine HCL supplementation has shown to help stomach acidification to ensure the proper functioning of pepsin and the release of nutrients from the food matrix. Lipid digestion can be supported and improved with supplemental pancreatin or lipase. As mentioned before, pancreatic function and lipid digestion go hand in hand. So pancreatin can help those with deficiencies caused by cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, and other causes of pancreatic insufficiency by supplying the enzymes that support our daily digestion. Supplements containing digestive enzymes can be from animal, plant, or microbial sources. Pancreatic enzyme supplements are generally animal-sourced, and lipases can be either animal or microbially sourced. Some enzymes may be enterically coated, meaning they are protected from highly acidic environments, which helps prevent any inactivation by stomach acid and maintains activity into the small intestine. 
Enzymes derived from microbial sources may be used at lower doses and across a wider range of acidity than enzymes derived from animal sources, but each plays its own unique role. Aside from digestion, certain enzyme supplements have been shown to improve osteoarthritic pain, promote faster recovery after exercise, and indirectly support the immune system. We can see the important roles that enzymes play in our bodies every day. It is important that we strive to consume as many whole, minimally processed foods as possible to promote a healthy gut and enzyme production. And if needed, we can easily consume our enzymes through supplements too. For more information about digestion and enzymes, visit holisticmatters.com. This educational platform has a diverse assortment of material, including articles on specific nutrients and a variety of health and wellness topics, animated videos and lectures from industry experts, monthly podcast episodes, infographics available for download, and more. <music>